learners. Are you excited to learn and love the Philippines? That's good. Sit up, smile, and let's begin our lesson. Today, we'll talk about three national symbols stated in the Flag and Heraldic Code or Republic Act 8491. These are the Great Seal, the Coat of Arms, and the National Motto. Here is what the Great Seal looks like. The Great Seal tells us several things about our country. For one, the Great Seal tells us the name of our country. As you can see from this illustration, the official name of the country is Republic of the Philippines or Republica Nang Pilipinas. The name Philippines came from the Spanish title Las Islas Filipinas, which explorer Ruy Lopez de Villalobos used for the islands of Samar and Leyte. In 1543, Villalobos and his men wanted to reach Cebu, but a storm drove them to the shores of Mindanao, where they were stranded for more than a month. Villalobos gave Mindanao the name Cesaria Caroli, in honor of Charles V, who was the reigning monarch of the Holy Roman Empire and of Spain. Villalobos resumed his journey and reached the islands of Samar and Leyte. He and his men coined the name Las Islas Filipinas in order to claim the islands for the emperor's son, Prince Philip of Asturias. Although Las Islas Filipinas was originally for Samar and Leyte, the Spanish colonizers used it for all the other islands of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. When the Americans came, they translated Las Islas Filipinas to the Philippine Islands. Eventually, the official title, Republic of the Philippines, was declared in the 1935 Constitution as the name the country would use after the Americans completely handed over sovereignty to the Filipino people. Today, the Philippines is a republic. It is no longer a colony of Spain or the United States. Unlike colonial times when foreign powers decide who runs the country, Filipinos select their representatives in government through elections. In the Great Seal, we also find the country's national coat of arms. What is a coat of arms? A coat of arms is a symbol distinguishing an individual, family, corporation, or country. It's like a logo that identifies a brand or product you buy in the market. The national coat of arms has changed many times in history, depending on what those running the government want. During the presidency of Manuel L. Quezon, which was under the Commonwealth of the Philippines, the coat of arms was like this. During the Second Philippine Republic, when the country was under Japanese rule, the coat of arms was like this. Today, this is the standardized version of the coat of arms. You will see this symbol in many government seals, documents, and websites. Another symbol we find in the Great Seal is the national motto. A national motto is a sentence or phrase reflecting a country's beliefs and ideals. The national motto of the Philippines is Maka Diyos, Maka Tao, Maka Ka Lika San at Maka Bansa. What does this motto mean? Being Maka Diyos means the Filipino people fear God. Filipinos believe there is a supreme being who is higher than everything and anything in this universe. Being Maka Tao means the Filipino people respect humankind. Filipinos value human life from the moment it is formed inside the womb up to a person's final breath. Being Maka Ka Lika San means Filipinos take care of the environment. Filipinos understand the need to manage the environment properly, not just for personal use, but also for future generations. Being Makabansa means Filipinos love the country. Although the country has many problems, Filipinos still love the Philippines as their home. It's trivia time! The national coat of arms is an interesting symbol because of two icons that resemble our colonial past. On the blue side is a bald eagle representing the United States of America. On the red side is the lion rampant, a symbol of the Kingdom of Spain. The presence of these icons is questionable to many because in the current flag and heraldic code of the Philippines, the coat of arms is described without the bald eagle and the lion rampant. In 1998, a referendum was held to remove the lion and the eagle from the coat of arms making it look like this. 
but for almost three decades, these changes are still awaiting approval. It is interesting to note that the Senate of the Philippines uses this proposed version of the coat of arms in their official seal, but other government agencies are still using the version with colonial symbols. Which herald should Filipinos recognize? We'll do our best to ask the National Commission for Culture and the Arts about this issue and update this video once we get their reply. Before we end this lesson, can you answer this question? Based on our lesson, what is the national motto of the Philippines? Write your answer in the comments section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with others who want to learn about the Philippines. That's all for today, and see you in our next lesson.